Do you have any idea what the leading cause of allergies and food intolerances is today? Milk. In other words, lactose intolerance is a prevalent and most distressing health condition that affects not just millions, but billions of people around the world. Just to have an idea, the U.S. Department of Human Health Services approximate that close to 65% of the human population in the world has trouble digesting lactose after infancy. That's almost 70% of us. The worst part is that even though this is a 100% true fact, we're still buying and taking home all sorts of lactose products that are damaging our health without us knowing it. Milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, you name it. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal five signs and symptoms that indicate there's a milk or milk product intolerance that is not being good for you and how to replace it to stay healthy naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, treatment patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need to line an appointment with quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com, and I encourage you to stay till the end of this video. I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. There's a big difference between lactose intolerance and a milk allergy. A lactose intolerance is more of a discomfort and subtle damage to our system instead of that overreaction of the immune system that is caused by an allergy. So milk, cheese, ice cream, etc. are all lactose containing products and they can cause tens of different signs and symptoms of intolerances in the human body, even though many times you might not even notice them. Some of the worst include, for example, bloating, gas, diarrhea, but not all of them come in these aggressive ways we are used to seeing. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal five signs and symptoms that indicate there's a milk or milk product intolerance that is not good for you, and how you can replace it to stay healthy naturally and effectively. Number one, there's stomach pain and bloating. Stomach pain and bloating are common symptoms of lactose intolerance in both children and adults. You see, when the body is unable to break down lactose, it passes through our intestines untouched until it reaches the colon. Once inside your colon, lactose starts to ferment and bacteria within it starts to form gas, resulting in bloating. This fermentation causes the release of short chain fatty acids as well as gas, including hydrogen, methane, and even carbon dioxide. Sadly, this is where gases start to lead to stomach pain and cramps. Now, the amount of bloating and pain is interestingly not related to the amount of lactose you are ingesting. It's actually independent from it. It has to do a lot with how much sensitivity an individual has in feeling this distension. If you're eating or drinking products containing lactose and you're experiencing bloating and pain, you might be suffering from a lactose intolerance. If you need a good quality supplement formula that can help you improve digestion of milk, cheese, and any other product that contains lactose or any other hard digestive protein, look for D-enzymes and ProBillion from Phylon at DrLandivar.com. Number two, diarrhea. Let's think about this for a moment. Diarrhea usually occurs when the body finds it necessary to expel any substance that is causing it harm maybe a toxin, bacteria, etc. Lactose intolerance causes diarrhea by increasing the volume of water in your colon, which increases the volume and liquid content in the stool. This is usually more common in babies and young children or even adults. And you see, the microflora in your stomach ferments lactose into short-chain fatty acids and gases. What's left over increases the amount of water inside your system, needing your body to release it out of your colon as soon as possible, causing diarrhea. In many occasions, 45 grams of carbohydrates must be present in the colon to cause diarrhea, and sometimes not even that. Now, obviously, there are many other causes to diarrhea apart from lactose intolerance. These can sometimes be, for example, diet, many kinds of malabsorption, medications, infections, and even inflammatory bowel diseases. In any case, you definitely need to look into it and make sure that you are not suffering from diarrhea making sure that this is not a lactose intolerance. 
Number three, skin conditions. You'd be surprised to see how many skin conditions appear as a result of lactose intolerance. They're just incredible. There are even a multiple of studies that support a link between acne and, for example, dairy consumption. Not to mention eczema and other skin conditions. I've personally had many and several patients eliminate dairy products after going through countless treatments for tens of other conditions in the skin. We need to understand that most of the skin conditions we have start with a digestive or immune dysfunction. If we change our diets and eliminate the problem within, there's no way our skin will keep showing signs of distress. And I'd say more, if you have any skin condition, the first thing you should be thinking about doing is eliminating lactose intolerance and any food that can potentially cause allergies or intolerances. That's a fact. If you need something effective that can help you reduce inflammation, maybe improve your skin and health overall, look for Kirk U Health from Finland at Dr. Len Navarakong. Number four, increased gas production. Have you ever wondered why there's a lactose intolerance in the first place? You see, the human body needs a specific enzyme to digest lactose. This enzyme is called lactase. Most of us stop producing this enzyme after our fourth year of age, and this is where our problems start. Believe it or not, the vast majority of people today are lactose intolerant, specifically because there is no real capability of producing that enzyme that digests milk. If we had lactase, our body wouldn't be producing such a large amount of gas or intolerances in its intestines. The only solution there is to this problem really is lactase. This enzyme is responsible for being able to digest lactose. Now there are supplements that you can take to improve the digestion of milk derivatives. Digestive enzymes, for example, that will not only improve your digestion of lactose, but of other hundreds of substances found in any type of food. I suggest you find a good digestive enzyme formula and you use it whenever you have that excess gas production or problems with digestion. Number five, headaches and constipation. Suffering from headaches and constipation due to lactose intolerances is not rare. It's actually very common. Constipation, for example, is characterized by the formation of hard, infrequent stools, feelings of incomplete bowel movements, and stomach discomfort, maybe even bloating and excess straining. All of these can be an indication of lactose intolerances, although it's a much rarer symptom than diarrhea, for example. Now, what's more common than constipation is many times a headache. Patients suffering from lactose intolerance can many times feel headaches and never know where they are coming from. So be very careful because a headache can usually be telling you that something is not functioning well inside your liver or your digestive system. I always tell my patients that the best thing to try for a headache is eliminate certain foods to make sure that these foods are not causing any intolerances. And help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line of point, visit drlandivar.com and check out these other videos related to stopping your valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.